Ms. Ann again at the Frank Sarris Public Library and I am reading you bedtime story tonight. It's going to be a special story and I um, have Mr. Stuffy Bear here. Uh, are you uh, getting ready for bed? Did you brush your teeth? Did you jump in your jammies and snuggle with your favorite pillow? Um, so get ready and um, Put your little stuffy to the side. And I think first we're going to uh, sing a couple songs. Um, so I think we should get our twinkle fingers ready. We're going to sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, okay? That's one of our favorites, right? So here we go. We got our twinkle fingers ready. So here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <laughs> good job. That was very good. That was fun. Right? Um, so we are also going to sing um, the next song. It's going to be a summer song. We've done it before. It's called um, the dream song. And I thought that we could have some little background noise, nighttime noise. Do you hear that? Those are tree peepers. And um, that's one of our summertime noises that we love to listen to at night, right? It helps put us to sleep sometimes. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna Listen to the tree peepers, and um, we're going to sing our next song. It's the dream song, and um, we've done it before, like I said, and um, if you know the words, you can sing along, and um, if it's just your first time hearing it, um, listen to the words, and next time you can sing along with us, okay? So here we go. There's a web like a spider's web made of silver lines and shadows. Spun by the moon in my room at night. It's a web made to catch a dream. Hold it tight till I awaken, as if to tell me that dreaming's all right. <laughs> yeah, dreams are, uh, dreams are, they can be bad, but then most of them are fun, and most of them are just plain silly. <laughs> and sometimes you don't even uh, remember them when you wake up in the morning, but um, most of us dream. And, um, so those little sounds, I hope you can hear them. If not, you can imagine. Use your imagination um, and uh, think about the tree peepers. Um, and tree peepers um, are called pinkle tinks in Martha's Vineyard. I don't know if you knew that or not. or I have never heard the word before, but... Um, the book that I am going to be reading to you mentions pinkle tinks, and that was the first time I had heard the word, and it's such a fun word to say. Can you say pinkle tinks? Pinkle tinks. <laughs> that is such a fun word. And um, I don't know about you, but sometimes I'll leave the window open a little crack, and I listen to the crickets come out at night, and um, the tree peepers or pinkle tinks. <laughs> Um, so it's a lovely sound and um, makes you relax and put you to sleep sometimes, right? So like I said, this is a special book and um, it was written by Patty Shaw and uh, Patty Shaw is a friend of my husband's and um, she had found out that I was reading bedtime stories to you guys at the Frank Harris Public Library and um, she told my husband about her book that she had written and uh, I had was excited to um, to read it to you. She had, she has given it to me, and I'm so honored. And um, it was uh, inspired by her trips to Martha's Vineyard uh, to her summer home every year. And um, the illustrations are just magnificent. They're tremendously beautiful. And um, they were the book was illustrated by Margot Datz, which is her friend who also lives in Martha's Vineyard. And um, so I'm going to read this to you. So listen for the word pinkle tinks, okay? It's a fun word. <laughs> it's called Night Tide on a Vineyard Farm. And we have the little pinkle tinks in the background. You can hear them, okay? Here we go. 
Pinkle Tinks play from star to star as tides dance with the moon. And the owl, he sits way high in the loft, watching over his barnyard room. Hear the soft moo of the newborn calf, all tucked in a warm bed of hay. And the pussycat sleeps with the puppy dog, awaiting the break of day. Are you getting sleepy? Yeah, all these animals are sleepy. There's a hush over farm fields and flocks as the world around you sleeps. Look at those sleepy sheep. <laughs> so dream, little one, of the harvest it brings as by your side a vigil I keep. Oink, oink. Chick, chick. Look at those sleepy piggies. <laughs> And the horses neigh. As tides dance with the moon and the pinkle tinks play from star to star over the barnyard room. And the little one is asleep <laughs> with all of her little uh, barnyard animals. That was a lovely, lovely story. And um, I'm so thankful that I get to share it with you. It's definitely a, a gem in the crown to, of bedtime stories, and um, it was a beautiful, lovely book. And I'm going to turn our little pinkle tinks off, and we're going to sing our good night song, okay? Do you remember the good night song? We're going to um, do four signs. The first one is good, and you put your arm out. And the sun goes down, that's night, okay? So it's good night. And then put our fingers up. Those are friends, they give each other hugs. And then time, you point to your imaginary watch. And then to say, you put your finger on your chin and you point down. So once again, it's good night, friends, time, and to say, okay? So get ready and get set. We're gonna sing good night, okay? So it's good night, friends. Good night, friends. Good night, friends. It's time to say good night. Good night.